Groundhog Day, friends? Welcome to This Day Devo. My name is Pastor Guy. Isn't Groundhog Day great? This is one of the, the best days of the year. Can't get over how awesome Groundhog Day is, especially for us here in the greater Punxsutawney area as thousands of people will pour in to our little town and just transform it overnight for a day or two and um, celebrate what the Groundhog has to say about whether or not we're having an early spring or if we're having more winter. My vote is for an early spring because we haven't really had winter yet this year. And uh, But anyway, uh, I digress. Happy Groundhog Day. Today, our, our reading in the plan for this day, Devo, is Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 through 46. So we're reading the rest of Matthew chapter 12. And a lot of this has been really neat because I think I've been seeing how the story unfolds. One of the trends that's been happening for the last several years in Bible reading has been uh, rather than reading verse by verse or read a parable here, a story here, a scripture here, uh, it's there's been a, there, there's a trend towards taking out some of the verse titles, the chapter titles, uh, the subtitles, and so the Bible can just be read as a story. And when you read the Bible as a story, straight through, without distractions, kind of reading it uh, in the same way that you would read a novel, uh, you see it come come to life differently. You see how it all plays together. You see the connections. And I'm seeing that as I'm reading through the book of Matthew, and I, I assume that you are as well, how it continues to flow as a, an account of Jesus's life from, in this case, Matthew. And uh, Jesus has just entered into Jerusalem in the triumphal entry, and then he goes into the temple, and he he sees that these money changers have. Uh, it's not that they're selling; it's that they're doing it unethically. It's that they're 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 inviting criminal activity into the temple that is designed for prayer and designed for worship, and a design as a place where you can bring your sacrifices. And so Jesus comes in; he flips over the tables. He said, "That's not what this is about. You've turned you've turned my house of prayer." into a den of thieves. And he's cleansing the temple of this evil practice. And this is the call for us, uh, something that we all need to be reminded of. I mean, it doesn't mean that we can't have fundraisers at church. It doesn't mean we can't sell things here and there at church. Uh, But it does mean that it's important that those things are done ethically, morally. It's important that those things are, uh, that that the main purpose behind a, a church and a gathering is we're going to worship. We're going to, to declare the word through proclamation of the gospel and preaching, and we're going to pray because Jesus calls his church, the temple, to be a house of prayer. And it's important for us to look at this and say, well, what is well a temple, a church? But the Bible also says that, that as a Christian, I am a temple. My body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and I'm called to pray without ceasing. So my life, my life, is, is to be a house of prayer. My body, everything that I am, that I, I do all things to declare the glory of God, I am to be a living, breathing, walking, active house of prayer in the place where God has planted me, in this life that I'm living, to live and pray without ceasing, to ask and believe as I ask within God's will for my life and for humanity. Ask and believe that I will receive. Ask and believe that God is going to grant me uh, what I need when I'm ready for it, when I need it. And this is uh, such an important thing for us to understand, is that we are to live our lives as a living, breathing house of prayer. Because it's easy for us to... Um, to to become like these Pharisees, to become these empty shells, to become like a church without Jesus, a, a, a social club with a cross on the door, as some would say, as someone said to me recently. And it's easy for us to fall into that because we can become just religious. We can become just checking the box on your Devo. But, but, but it's more than that. It's a relationship. And it's dangerous for us to not to yield and respond to God. And what does God call us to do? He calls us to submission. He calls us uh, to a vital, uh, to, to, to a faith of vitality, to a spiritual walk with him. He calls us to becoming and experiencing this life as a house of prayer. I live spiritually as I live and walk and breathe on my journey with Christ so that we don't become these empty shells of men and women who are just going through the motions. No, no, no. That's, that's empty. That's empty. That's uh, it's fake. 
it's idolatry and we don't we don't need more idolatry we need more jesus and if you want more jesus you find jesus at the cross you find jesus at your knees you find jesus in the house of prayer we just did this past sunday um project prayer on sunday afternoon for three hours and we had a wonderful time it was marvelous to just to 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 turn down the lights in the sanctuary and spend as much time as we wanted to individually just uh praying and reading and studying and walking about the sanctuary uh, and and lifting up the needs of our world, of our community, of our lives. And that, my friends, uh, is is really going to be the lifeblood behind um, your faith. Like, we're doing this year. We're reading the Bible. We need that foundation. Uh, and But on top of that foundation, prayer is vital. We have to pray at, before we read it, as we read it, after we read it, and that God will lead us in the way that he calls us in his will in this journey of life, this journey of faith that we're taking with him. So I pray today that you will love Jesus and live a life of prayer without ceasing. Today I learned this about Jesus, and on this day I will this. Let me pray for you. Father, we thank you for um, the way that you uh, turned over the tables of our lives and cleansed us from all wickedness and unrighteousness. Lead us as we walk through this life in prayer without ceasing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy Groundhog Day. Celebrate. Bye. Every word sent down from heaven has the power of Christ.